What's up everybody, welcome to the pre-race press conference for round 6 of CCRL, we're getting straight into it. Uh, Janosh, welcome to the conference as always. Um, so, uh, next track is, unless I'm mistaken, Laguna Seca. Uh, what are your thoughts on the track? Um, I, th I think it's a nice track with the sand, It's it does punish you if you go too far off so you've got to be careful there and obviously you've got the corkscrew which is difficult to master okay um well, what are your thoughts on how how high you think you can finish this season, uh, in the race mm, the goal is obviously to finish inside points and i'll try and do that of course, yeah. Um, looking at um, the server, I think. Um, what are your thoughts on the tracks that will favour McLaren in the future races? Um, I don't really know what tracks will favour McLaren, to be honest. Um, let me look at the calendar. Mons is definitely not going to be one for us. That's probably something we're we're probably the Chevrolet will dominate. Panorama we might have a good chance there. We'll we'll have to see. We'll always do our best. And... Yes, of course. Um, uh, my final question. Um... Have, have you been practicing a lot for this track? Uh, I believe, as you said, corkscrew is difficult to master and the off-track punishes you. Um, yeah, I did, I did start practicing today. I practiced a bit earlier, but not like on last weekend, I think. Practiced a tiny bit, but not much. But today I really, I really practice a lot and also already figured out strategy together with our strategist Azmat, who's finally back after having to leave the server yeah okay ali you have a question oh uh, no i'm not got any questions right now okay no worries uh janice thank you very much for joining us janice the leading mclaren driver in ccrl uh Thank you very much for joining as always and speak soon. See ya. See ya. Okay, everyone, next interview is with Pekka for the first time, which is brilliant to see. Uh, welcome to the conference for the first time. Um, let's get straight into it. So um, what are your yes, thoughts? Thanks. Yeah, what are your thoughts on uh, Laguna Seca the track for the race it? Um, yeah, it's true. It's of course a hard track uh, also because um, the gravel is really close uh, to the track itself. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a mess at the start. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be an amazing race. Uh, that's are my, that are my uh, thoughts, to be honest. How of are you course, going I hope to... a, Sorry. a clean race. That would be amazing. Um, yeah. And of course, uh, a, uh, maybe a uh, podium for my teammate, Buxavian. Yeah. Um, I will not be able to uh, race, um, so we have a reserve driver. Uh, I hope he's going to uh, perform also good, so uh, yeah. How have the boys been told to uh, handle uh, the corkscrew? Uh, sorry? Um, the boys racing today, have they have they been told uh, how to handle the corkscrew? Oh, you mean in practice? Yeah. Uh, or what they're going to do in the race, how they're going to handle uh, the corkscrew corners. Yeah, we're just going to like drive uh, normal, just um, like break at the breaking point and um, like don't uh, give uh, too much gas too early because you will lose uh, the rear of the car. Um, so yeah, we are um, in the practice, we are doing uh, pretty good. Um, um, not many mistakes. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, it's a, uh, I think, simple strategy. I love it. Um, you said Poctavian um 
is uh, you're hoping for him to get a podium. How about the uh, reserve for today, who you you decided to let race? Um, yeah, he's pretty good to be honest. Um, I uh, did a few practice races with him. Uh, also practiced uh, normal uh, uh, laps. Um, he's pretty fast, uh, just a few tenths uh, slower than me. Um, but I think um, it's going to be a, an awesome race. I think Poktavian and the reserve have uh, have uh, like both the same chances uh, to get a podium. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, my last question. Um, looking ahead uh, this season, um, you've got the special event on Saturday, which I believe you're racing in, and also the um, the rest of the season going ahead. Um, what are your thoughts on the car you're driving for Saturday's special event and also the, um, the, ra- the races on uh, for, for the rest of the season, how that might fair for your bmw so you mean um what my thoughts are about the uh the The special special events yeah and also the rest of the season um yeah um uh i'm just gonna say friday uh after um laguna there will be an announcement um i'm not gonna tell uh what um you will uh, discover it then um and about the special events um yeah, it, it's really fun, to be honest. Just something else than only uh, the GT3. Um, I'm looking forward uh, to the, this uh, special event, the 24 hours of Le Mans. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, always the special events are fun. Uh, sometimes uh, not many drivers, but um, maybe... Uh, uh, about a few weeks, uh, we will have uh, 16 drivers in the special events. Okay, um, thank you very much, Pekka. That's all my questions for now. Ali, do you have a question? Uh, oh, I just no. have one. Um, what do you intend to do about um, Albertini and in terms of challenging him? Because we've seen that he's kind of running away with this. Um, yeah, what we saw on um, Barcelona Catalonia. Um, is that uh, my strategy, I made a few undercuts, um, mm-hmm. but um, still they have like faster car and they have less uh, tire wear because they're yeah. both driving with a steering wheel. So um, I'm, I'm driving on the controller, so it's pretty hard to um, uh, keep their pace. Yeah. But I think at the beginning I can be a danger for them, but at the end of the race it's uh, going to be hard. Yep, okay. Good luck for the race. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And good, yeah, good luck for Saturday and uh, tomorrow as well for uh, both your drivers and for the rest of the season as well. Pekka, thank you very much for joining. Uh, yeah, that's Pekka, thank you. the BMW driver um, who won't be racing tomorrow, but will be racing on Saturday's special event and the rest of the season at BMW. Take care. Speak soon. All right. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. See ya. Team 07, welcome to the conference as always. Let's get straight into it. Um, what are your thoughts on the... Um, I'm going to stop you right there because your mic is really... Um, oh. Sketchy. Is it bad? Okay. It's buzzing a lot. Is it better now? Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Okay, brilliant. Sorry about that. Um... What are your thoughts on the Laguna Seca track for tomorrow? Um, it's definitely a lot of fun to drive. Um, it's, it's not got a lot of straights, got a lot of corners, should be favourable to the Ferrari. Um, hopefully we can pull off a good result. Um, hopefully yeah, we will have better tracks for us, I think, this year. Okay. Um, how are you going to handle the corkscrew corner? Because I know it is a very tough... Uh, chicane. Um, I mean, I think it, it, it comes down to how much confidence I will have the car, the tires uh, at that given moment. But I mean, ideally, you want to be, uh, you know, be, be breaking sufficient pace and then you can, so that you can, you know, power your way through down the hill. But uh, yeah, braking is really key to that car. If you don't break on time, then 
If you go watch it even just a little bit, then you would like through up the, the whole section is not organized. So uh, that's the way why I think to get right. Okay. Um, um, you know, the, uh, I think next race there is a bit of an off-road aspect to it. There will be a bit of off-road to race through. So how do you plan to use that to your advantage in the race? Uh, I didn't get your question. Uh, off-road. Uh, there is a portion of the racetrack uh, next week which will be off-road, so how are you going to maybe tackle the problem or even use it to your advantage? Uh, let's see. Uh, depends on how well the Ferrari handles the off-road section, really. Uh, I really don't have much else to say at this point because I haven't tested it myself. But okay. hopefully we can, we can get an advantage out of that section. Alright, uh, I have one more question. Uh, Obviously, your teammate uh, hasn't done very well. You put it down to him being unlucky. After the last race, are you maybe thinking of switching or how are you going to tackle this problem? Because it's been consistently bugging you all season now. Well, to be honest, I mean, he, he was leading into turn one. He got bumped off. He was dead last uh, go, at the end of the first lap. So from there to recover uh, into points. Points position, he finished, he finished six in his first points of the season. I mean, it's definitely an improvement. I, I, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's what I've been saying. It's just a matter of time. He, he's, again, he got bumped off the road. He was last at the end of the first lap. Again, had that not happened, he was leading the race. So, I mean, I have no doubt he would have done really well again. So, there's no question of splitting up. He's a really, really talented guy. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my last question. Um... Where do you think you're going to finish in um, in today's in tomorrow's sorry tomorrow's race? Uh, I mean, obviously we'd like to win, but I think that might be a little too unrealistic, especially given the pace of the Alphas, which is also really strong in the corners. But hopefully we can be we can take the final podium spot and if they don't tangle with them, each other at least. Well, um, that's sorry, Ali. You, you can go. All right, thanks. Uh, I had one question. Uh, obviously, Albertini is driving with a steering wheel, and I think the rest of, well, I mean, all of the rest of the drivers are driving on controller. So, does that maybe give them an advantage that maybe controller players can't really combat, or is there a way you can maybe challenge him for the podium next season or even this season? I'm not actually sure about the wheel thing. I think Lenusha uses a wheel, and I think a few others use a wheel as well. Uh, I think you might have to check up on that. But uh, so I use the controller. I use uh, something called the gyroscopic uh, function. So basically, you can use the controller like in some ways like a wheel. So it's it's really uh, it it is it reduces the disadvantage that is there to the wheel. Of course, there is some some time to be gained, but I mean. That's something that's not really in our control. So, I mean, there's not much I can say about that. <laughs> okay, uh, Kimmy07, thank you very much, as always, for joining the press conference. That's Kimmy07, the leading Ferrari driver in CCRL. Speak soon. Uh, if you'd, if it's you. okay, you, if you want to stay behind after I finish the recording, is that okay with you? Just quickly? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay.